Many residents that I talked to said they had to find hotel rooms or other shelter for the evening. They told me in some homes the water had come up as high as their hips and that water also rose very quickly. I went outside towards where the door is and I, I see the water coming out from the door like flooding and I was like this is horrible. Like, Razme Chuan woke up to a barrage of flood water knocking at her door at around 8 a.m. The water was at least above to the ankle. She says the rushing water built up so much pressure her mom couldn't even evacuate through the front door. She opened the door and everything was pouring out. She couldn't even push the water, couldn't even push out the water to go out. So it, it was just coming in like super fast. Instead they found another way out. My mom and my niece they went out through the window uh, we didn't have anything. We just came out with our robes. Rasme says the water reached the armrests of her sofa. She says in her home alone, four adults, two children, her dog Mochi and cat are now displaced and trying to find a place to stay. And they weren't the only family. Next door, the neighbor's basement flooded. She was accessing it on a pair of narrow boards set up as a temporary footpath. At nearby businesses, employees had to evacuate as well. Just an unfortunate chain of events. The rain, you know, the ice we had last week, high tide combined with uh, the current construction work going on, just kind of made for a perfect storm with all the ingredients coming together at the wrong time. Kevin Clark says the water at his business rose within six minutes. This building has never flooded to this magnitude in the last 31 years I've been here. And I've never seen it like this. The water level is like as high up as like where the door knob is. That's pretty bad. The Duwamish River Community Coalition was helping residents with food and supplies early in the day. The coalition says at least 10 families have to be relocated or need assistance. I didn't even have shoes. The neighbors actually gave me slippers for me to walk right now. So everything is, is damaged. Um, our furniture, uh, TV, everything. Residents believe that in part some of the flooding was due to high tides and they're concerned that more will be coming in the days ahead. Reporting in Seattle, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.